I took a course on the book of Psalms when I was in seminary and I really, really loved it. And the book of Psalms has been very significant for me ever since. That's more than 30 years now. And, and I've read through the book of Psalms uh, more times than I can count. And it's hard for me to say, oh, this is one of my favorite Psalms because I probably have about 20 to 30 Psalms that I might say are among my favorites. And one of them is Psalm 34. There's so many great verses in this psalm. Uh, it invites us to worship and to exalt God's name together. It says in our verse for today, Psalm 34, verse 4, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I particularly like that verse for so many reasons. Uh, when I was a boy, when I was really young, I'm afraid I sometimes made decisions more based on fear than on what I really wanted to do. And Psalm 34 encourages us to always seek the Lord first and foremost in our life, knowing that if we seek the Lord, the Lord will answer us. If we pray, God will respond. Jesus said something similar when he said, ask, seek, knock, right? Uh, that we are encouraged to pursue God, even as God is pursuing us. And Psalm 34, in verse 4, has that promise that God will deliver us from all our fears. God is greater than anything we might be afraid of, whether that's something physical, financial, spiritual, relational. God is bigger than our fears. When Nathan and Greg were young boys, we used to watch VeggieTale videos, and we all enjoyed them very much. And I can still remember the song from one of those VeggieTale videos about God is bigger than the boogeyman, that we all used to sit in the living room and sing along to, that he's bigger, stronger, more powerful than anything that might cause us to be afraid. So whenever you find yourself feeling fearful, remember, God is greater, God is bigger, God is stronger than anything you're afraid of. And rather remember that God hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and of love and a sound mind, as Paul writes in 2 Timothy 1.7. So be bold and be courageous.